Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Well, today's the day I'm out for my very first flight of the brand new DJI Mavic 3 drone. Now, I've been dying to get this drone up in the air ever since I did the unboxing, but as luck would have it, it seems like every time a new drone shows up, we get a solid week of rain where I can't get outside and put it up in the air. And the same thing happened here. We've had four days of nothing but downpours. So today's really the first day that we've had a decent break in the weather. Now, it is overcast, so the video's not gonna be that great, but I promise you, I've got two full batteries in the car. I've got a full battery in the drone. I've got a portable battery bank with me. So I'm gonna fly this thing like crazy in some of my favorite locations here in New Jersey. I've got farms near me, there's bay, there's the ocean. I'm out here in the Pine Barrens at a secret location to test it. So I'll put a little montage together of all the different flights that I've done so you can see exactly what the quality looks like of the product. And I'm really interested to see how it handles as well because whenever I put a drone up for the first time, I always like to get a feel for how it responds to the joysticks, how quickly it'll stop, how quickly it'll accelerate because every drone has a different personality and I'm sure this one has its own personality as well. So anyway, enough of me rambling on. <laughs> Let me put it up in the air and get some footage. So here we go. All right, the first thing you'll notice when you actually pull the joysticks down is it gives you a check propeller installation warning. So just to make sure you've got the props on the right arms. And I definitely do. So I'll say check complete. We're good to go. Now down into the middle, prop spin up. <laughs> Every time I put a new drone up, I get this thrill. It's sort of like I'm at the top of a roller coaster and I know we're going down, right? It's that butterflies in your stomach. All right, so let me start the recording and I'm on the uh, Hasselblad four-third sensor. All right, so now it's up in the air. I gotta say, that's quiet. I'll get a little closer. That's quiet. Now, it's not like it's l not less loud. It is less loud, but it's less annoying as well. It's more of a hum than it is a whistle like we used to get on some of the other drones. All right, so let's see how it handles. I like to put it up, put it down. Very responsive. So I'll elevate and descend. Let me go left and right. Nice and smooth. Really nice and smooth. All right, now forward and back. I'm going slow because I want to get a feel for it. Man, is it nice. Let me fishbowl a little bit. Wow, that is quick. That is really quick. All right, I think we're ready to go. So let me send it downfield here. I'm gonna get in the way of the drone. Let me line it up. Okay, perfect. All right, here we go. Take it down, get a little drama going on here. Let me get it down close to the ground. All right. <laughs> and away we go. Watch your tree, watch your tree. Okay, good, good. Everybody's good. <laughs> oh man, this video is unbelievable. Now remember, we're getting 1080p streaming video, FPV back to this iPad, and it's way clearer than the last version. Last version was 720p, this is 1080p, and it just looks amazing, it's so crisp. All right, so I'm just gonna go down the field a little bit further. I don't wanna go too far, because I got a lot of trees around me. And as I've mentioned in other clips, trees are not your friend when you're flying because they have a lot of water content and they're gonna block that signal like crazy. So let me fly it back and just land it. See if I could put it on the map. That would be kind of cool to see how I do with that. But man, this is unbelievable. That Hasselblad camera is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Now I have to take a look at this. I'm recording 40, I'm sorry, 4K at 60 frames a second. So it's pretty decent recording. I didn't go to 5.1 yet. I'll do that on another one of the videos. But for now, I just wanted to do a test flight. All right, so here we come back. Got my eye on it, coming in really hot. Let me bring her down. Geez, Rick, don't run into anything. All right, right over top of me. Come on down, buddy. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, let me spin it around. That is one of my favorite things to do is to try and land it on the mat. And it's a big drone and it's a small mat. So let's see what happens. But it's way stable, very, very stable. All right, I'm looking pretty good there. I feel pretty darn good about that. Let's bring it down a little bit, see what I'm doing. Oh man, I don't know. I think he's right on the money there. Let's go. Put her down. Come on down. Right on the H. Right on the H. Boom. <laughs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> I turn into a nine-year-old every time I put a drone up for the first time. So the, the flight was smooth. The video looked phenomenal on the FPV. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the SD card. Now, as I said, I promise you, I'm going to spend a lot of time flying all over New Jersey with this thing. I'll put a nice little montage together to give you a few examples of what it looks like over a field when it's sunny, over the bay, over the ocean. I'll fly it out here in the Pine Barrens an awful lot. I've got a bunch of farms, too, that I want to fly near me that I think have some beautiful uh, greenery this time of year. They've cut the fields back, and they just look phenomenal. But anyway, I'm rambling on, so if you stay tuned next, That'll be the montage that I put together. And then I've got other clips coming. So if you want to stay tuned to the channel for those, because I've got a lot of stuff coming on accessories and how the application works and comparisons between the Mavic 3 and other drones on the market to try to give you all the information you need 
to understand if this is the drone for you because one of the reasons we started the channel was to help other flyers better understand the technology so you could make informed decisions. And that's really what this is all about. So I'm lucky that I got it early. I love testing these new products. So if you have questions you want me to answer about this drone or any drone really, drop me a comment below and say to me, hey Rick, why don't you test this part of it and I'll put a clip together and test it for you. But anyway, that's it for today. So enjoy the montage and until next time, <laughs> happy flying. I hope you enjoyed those video samples, and I did try to give you a good variety of different locations and different flying conditions so you can judge for yourself just how well the Mavic 3 was able to handle all those different scenarios. Because remember, you're not always going to be flying on the perfect day with beautiful sunshine streaming down and white puffy clouds floating above your head. There are going to be a lot of days like today where it's pretty overcast, and there'll be winter days you're going to want to fly as well, and you're still going to want to put your drone up in the air and capture some amazing footage, so it's important to understand if your drone can handle all those different lighting scenarios. And the reason the Mavic 3 does so well in all those situations is because of this gigantic camera on the front with a four-third sensor inside, which means you've got a bigger sensor, you can capture more information, which gives you a lot more options later on when you're adjusting your footage in your editing software. The other thing I did want to mention is that zoom on the top of it is absolutely amazing. 
I can't get past the fact that I can be so far away from an object and pull in so tight on it with great focus. So that 28X hybrid zoom to me is just amazing because when I'm flying in scenarios like this where there's wildlife, I don't want to get too close and scare the deer away or scare something else away. I want to stay up at 300 feet and pull in nice and tight on that deer or that snowy white egret or that mallard duck or whatever it is I'm looking at. And that zoom allows me to do that. It's absolutely amazing. So DJI, again, in their brilliance, put two cameras in here that lets me flip between the four third sensor and the zoom. And, and I love having both in the camera. The last thing I'll mention is the stability of the quad. Now I flew it in a bunch of different scenarios. Over the lake, there was a pretty stiff wind coming my way. You could see ripples on the lake. I was a little worried about putting it up over the lake, especially down low like that, but it handled it perfectly. Whereas other drones I fly, I would have been a little bit sketchy putting it up in those conditions, but this one handled it well. I didn't get any high wind warnings. It didn't wobble all over the place. It flew straight, it flew stable, it came back just nice. Everything was good with it. So I'm very comfortable with this drone in a lot of scenarios that I wouldn't fly a smaller drone or other brands of drones because I've had situations where the wind kicks up and the drone has a hard time. It becomes a struggle trying to find its place in the air and find its way back. With this one, it handled it perfectly. And I think what DJI's got here as I said it before, it's sort of a blend between their commercial drones, maybe their Inspire series, that level, and their consumer drones. It fits perfectly in that Goldilocks zone between the two, where I've got amazing footage because of the camera. I've got perfect flying control over the drone and stability in the air. And, and the 45 minutes of flight time is an absolute bonus because I kept thinking to myself, why am I not bringing it back, swapping out the battery? Because I'm conditioned to think about a 20 minute battery flight. This one, it was up in the air and I had to keep looking at the battery indicator to see, no, I still got 40% left. No, I still got 30% left. It just doesn't seem right that it stays up in the air that long. Anyway, I'm having a ball testing this. Now, I promise you, I've got a lot more clips coming. I'm testing this. I've got a lot of other high-tech gear that we're going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family. We'd love to have you a part of the family because you're not going to want to miss some of the stuff we're coming up with. We have the 12 days of Drone Valley Christmas coming up as well with a lot of giveaways. Everybody gets real excited about that. And in general, I just love technology like this and I love talking about it. So if you're a nerd like me, make sure you stop back, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And we'll be here with cool stuff like this and talking about all kinds of technology to keep things exciting. Anyway, that's it for today. So thanks a lot for watching and until next time, <laughs> happy flying.